Hey, 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 good morning, good morning. Uh, Christine Burke here. And today I've got some uh, funky shades on, although I don't need them because it's raining over here in Perth. Um, but today I am asking kind of a cool question. And that is, are you thinking about blank in a way that it stops you or that it propels you? And uh, the uh, the mystery word I'm about to share um, with you, and uh, I really think you're going to get some value from this today. And I'm coming to you from Perth, West Australia, for uh, for a daily igniter that I love to uh, love to come on here every day. And um, so. Um, here's the deal. So what is this, um, blank that I am talking about? Hello. These filters are just awesome. So, uh, what I'm talking about today, this question is, um, this is change and uh you know everybody wants change i don't care who you are where you live what you're doing everybody wants change in some area of their life so they either want to lose weight they either want to gain weight in terms of muscle they want more time freedom they want to be happier they want a better job uh, they want to spend more time with their kids whatever it is everybody wants change right but a lot of us get stopped in our tracks around change and for a lot of people um, change can be quite scary right so um, you know put your hand up if you know what I'm talking about mm -hmm. uh, change can be really just gonna take off this filter so i can see hey how you going ritzky i was gonna message you today thanks for jumping on we need to chat my friend we need to chat hey christy thanks for jumping on courtney if you're new i would love if you just put a one in the comments um and i'd love to know where you're coming in from so today we're talking a little bit about change um, this is something that I'm particularly passionate about because I'm, uh, I'm learning out loud about a lot of, a uh, lot of things. Um, so here's the deal. I was just saying, so we all want change. Everybody wants change in their life in some form, whether it's health change, financial change, happiness change, job change, you know, personal growth change, whatever it is, right? But a lot of people get taken out of the game. They get stopped out of their their journey to to making change right and you know a lot of people say it's because you know we fear change which i think we do but there's a couple of um real reasons why this happens and and it's and it's not often what we think right so often we think is that is maybe we don't really want the change it's not that um it's not that we don't know how a lot of people will say well i don't know how to go and lose this weight um a lot of times we know what to do like if your doctor said to you, you need to go and lose 20 kilos um pretty much you know that that's going to require two main things right it's going to require moving your body more and it's going to be changing what you're putting in your mouth right which is 80 percent of that whole deal by the way so um and it and it's often not the, whether we think we can do it right so it's not whether we think we can do it it's not whether we it's not because we we don't know what to do right it's how we are putting meaning to it it's the meaning we are giving to the change and it really is um, the biggest thing that takes people out of change okay so you know who who drop in the comments if you know what I'm talking about like who's you know going through a big change right and uh, oftentimes and this is a little bit of Tony Robbins inspo here it's the meaning we give to it right so um, we, we you know we we see the whole mountain we see like the whole journey we see the whole 50 pounds we see, you know, the whole, um, you know, uh, whatever it is, like additional 50 grand a year in income, you know, whatever it is, we see the whole thing and we try and eat the whole whale all in the same sitting, right? And, uh, and, that, and that is problematic, right? Hey, Vivian, how you going? Good to see you on here. Um, so, and that's a problem. So how do, we, how do we approach change in a way? What do we think about it in order to change that meaning, change the meaning of change, okay? So a couple of things 
really, really valuable. And these have helped me quite a lot. Um, so the first thing is, 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 and you've heard this before, but you really honestly do need to take change one step at a time, one day at a time, one moment at a time, right? So um, here's an example. Like I get up mo most of the time, I get up at least 5 a.m. to go to the gym in the morning. And once I get there, I feel awesome. But um, I would rather sleep in. I do not want to get out of bed. I am not one of these people who's like, woo, I'm awake and I'm out of bed. And, you know, I used to pretend that I was one of those people and I would actually tell people that I was one of those people. But, you know, being authentic and honest is like the best thing you can do. And uh, I'm not. I, I, I really find it hard to get up, but I've learned to make it a habit, right? So I don't lie there. Um, I used to lie there and think, oh, my God, I got to get up and then I got to do this and then the kids might get up and then I got to get out of the house and I got to get dressed and then I got to get in the cold car and then I got to drive all the way to the gym and then I've got to, you know, put my my iPod on, then I've got to warm up, and then what am I going to do? Do you see how that really, you know, that could put you back to sleep, right? Really overwhelm you, right? So you just have to think about chunking things, right? You have to chunk things down into tiny bitty steps. And I know, hey Mark, thanks for tuning in, mate. Um, and I know that seems for some of you on here that might seem really. Um, you know, preliminary, like really simple, but it's the simple things, really, honestly, that are the most elusive to most people. So first, don't see, don't try and eat the whole whale. Don't try and achieve the whole entire goal in one day. Um, and that's just a cop out at the end of the day. Hey, Richard, thanks for dropping in, mate. Um, that's just a cop out to me, really. Um, Oh, thanks, Vivian. Thanks so much. Um, we try, we try. Um, so one step at a time. And here's the benefit of doing that is that it will force you, okay, breaking things down. If it's uh, whatever, for those of you coming on now, if it's a change, right, breaking things down into little bitty steps, okay, chunking things down will force you to, to get into a daily habit, because here's the deal, guys. Da change happens when you do stuff every day. Not once a week, not even three times a week, I would argue. Not once a month, not once a year, right? Every day, right? Because if you start thinking about eating the whole whale, you know, you'll spend Monday to Thursday thinking about it, and then you'll go Friday, and it's just not going to work, right? So, and daily actions are the most powerful things you can do for change, right? So that's the first thing is chunk it down, break it down. And the second thing is um, that I've been doing lately, okay, and this is big and this, this might, you know, hurt a little bit, and that is your integrity, right? Your personal integrity of your word, right? And here Here's the deal when you even when you say it to yourself or when you put it out to people around you, people who are watching you, people who hold you right up like your kids, your spouse, maybe you've got a business and you have a team, maybe at work you have a team. Hey, Jill, thanks for dropping in. Um, I would love it if you guys liked and shared the video. If you feel you got some value from it, I really appreciate that. And I'd love to know where you're, uh, where you're tuning in from. And if you're new, if this is your first time, you know, drop a one or drop a new in the comments. Um, Anyway, so your integrity, your personal integrity to your own word, right? So this is massive because um, if we keep our integrity to, yeah, 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 it can be out to other people, right? That's big and integrity to ourselves. So if we say like, uh, okay, I'm getting up, I'm going to the gym every day this week and then we don't do it, ouch, it hurts. And what that does is it, it chips away at your, um, your, your own integrity, your word, it chips away at your happiness because it chips away at how confident you feel in setting goals and following through. It chips away on your self worth. It chips away. And it's a real shame because, um, you know, your word and your personal integrity is at the end of the day, it's really all we have. 
it really is the most important thing that we all have. So, um, so really, really important. And, um, you know, every time you set a goal, you put something out there and then you don't follow through. It's like, it's like a hammer beating you down every single time. And then what do you do? That's it. You just give up right? Done, gone. And there's uh, some potential greatness, right? That, that's just been lost to the world, right? So um, so I hope you got some value from this. I was talking about change today and a couple of ways to approach change because everybody's looking for some sort of change in their life. I don't care who you are, how old you are, where you are. Um, and, uh, you know, everyone's looking for some sort of change. So two ways that can really catapult you, propel you forward in your change rather than uh, make change something that holds you back. So I got, I hope you got some value from that. You know, I, I, if you're, if you guys are on here, you know that, uh, that I love talking about empowerment and mindset and personal growth. I'm so passionate about sharing stuff that I am learning. Um, you know, I invest in my learning and then I'd love to teach it and get on here and share it. Uh, it's my favorite thing to do. And, um, so, you know, by the way, if you would love to, um, if you would love to work closer with me, that would be awesome. Um, I do have a business that I run from home and I don't, I really don't talk about it a whole lot on here. Um, I just love to talk about mindset and personal growth, but, um, but feel free to reach out to me and we can have a chat and really see if you, um, if you might be a fit for myself and my team. So, Hope you guys got value from this. Uh, remember to please like and share so I know, uh, I know who it was that watched and I can, uh, and I can drop you some love and uh, thanks. Hey, Leanne, um, you know, when this is done, go back and watch the replay. If you wish, you might get some value from this. And I uh, am on here most days doing this, uh, doing this daily igniter. So thanks for dropping on guys and, uh, feel free to reach out. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Have a good day, night, wherever you are in the world. See you later. Bye.